We were indomitable in 2020. We're unbreakable in 2021. Broadcast to over 150 countries. It's one championship unbreakable. Hello, everybody. I'm Michael Chevello. Great to be here in Singapore. I'm joined by the CEO and chairman of One Championship, Chatri Sikachong. Chatri, an unbreakable year coming up for One Championship. And joining us tonight, so many of our world champions. We've got Shinya Aoki in the house. Sebastian Karastam's here. Bruno Sassano, Capitan, Ramazanov and more. And in our main event for the Bantamweight Kickboxing World title, Ramazanov puts a strap on the line against the KO punching power of Capitan. For Ramazanov, Chatri, it's all about aggression. Absolutely. You know, Alaverde is a very tricky fighter, very long range. He can fight from both sides. He also throws very unusual combinations. He is a sneaky KO artist. At the same time, Capitan, man, one punch KO power. When I mean one punch, it is monster KO power. Here's another look at that epic world record. Six second knockout last time out for Capitan Pet Yindi Academy. There are going to be so many knockouts on tonight's card. We've got it stacked from top to tail to kick off 2021. Knockout artist Rade Opacic in the house. Knockout artist of the Adamite Division, Mungbo, in the house. And of course, tonight, the return of a living legend, Shinya Aoki. The numbers tell the story. Tied for the most subs in one history, the most finishes in lightweight history. He takes on James Nakashima. It's going to be a grappler versus grappler fight. But what's very interesting is, you know, I have rolled with Shinya. I've trained with him many times in the past. He is an absolute monster. He doesn't look strong, but he's absolutely strong. His grip strength is his core. He's going to take down Nakashima, and then he's going to finish Nakashima. That's the plan. But Nakashima is a world-class wrestler, so that's the big question. Can Shinya do it or not? How will Mr. Perfect handle Shinya Aoki? It's one championship. We're unbreakable. It's alive. It's a happening. Let's go to our opening contest. And our opening contest is a mixed martial arts contest at straw weight. It's Namiki Kawahara taking on the Thunder Kid from the Philippines, Lito Adawan. When Lito is in the circle, it's a don't blink or you'll miss it moment. Representing the Philippines, Lito Thunder Kid Adi Wong. Representing the new generation from the fabled Team Lokai in Baguio City in the Philippines, the Thunder Kid Lito Adi Wong comes in off the first loss in his one career, promises to bounce back tonight. And Mitch with the Thunder Kid, it's all about non-stop offense. Yeah, I love watching Lito Adiwan get it done inside the circle. He is so aggressive. He pushes forward, and once he feels you go, he jumps all over you. I like his stand-up, but I really also like his submission game. He's got a nasty Kimura. He's got good finishing instincts. But let's talk to the man and the found him on Rich Franklin's Blood Warrior Series. Rich, tell us about Lito Adiwan. I'll tell you what, I think Lito chose the wrong name instead of Thunder. They should have called him Lightning because, man, when that kid decides to strike, it's fast and hard. I love Lito, man. I love I, When recruiting him, the moment I saw him, when I was in Lakai, I said, I got to have this guy on my roster. Took him immediately. Lito Adiwan certainly brings the excitement every time he's in the circle. Can he bounce back, rebound, and get into the winner's circle? Representing Japan, Namiki Kawahara. Namiki Kawahara from Osaka, Japan, comes in off winning the deep strawweight title in August. Trained in traditional karate for 10 years, starting way back in first grade of elementary school. Finds himself on top of the martial arts world here at one. Mitch, I know you are full of praise 
for Namiki Kawahara. Man, Kawahara might not be known to the One Championship audience, but this guy is very well known on the Japanese mixed martial arts scene. Kawahara is a wild man. He comes out very unorthodox. He's got an awkward style. Punches come from all angles. He's got really strong belief in himself. His confidence, his swagger as he's strutting his way to the circle is on display. He is a problem to solve. He also trained in the United States. Kawahara goes back and forth between Japan and Sacramento, California, training with Alpha Male out there, some of the best lighter athletes on the planet. And he has really developed his game out there. He's added wrestling, he's added grappling to his unorthodox striking style. This matchup is a great way to kick off Unbreakable, and I am pumped about this one, Mike. Kawahara has never been submitted. He stopped his opponent in the first or second round in six of his seven wins. This one under the global rule set, three by five minute rounds. The bout will be judged in its 15 minutes entirety. Very tall and long for the division is Kawahara. Eight centimeters taller than Adewang. Gotta watch out for the boxing of the former amateur boxer, Lito Adewang. It's a mixed martial arts rules contest. It's set for three by five minute rounds. It's Japan versus the Philippines. A freestyler versus a standard artist. Here's Dom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, and martial arts fans from all around the world, welcome to the most exciting global martial arts event one championship! We are live from Singapore and broadcast to more than 150 countries. This is one championship unbreakable. So get ready for a night of non-stop martial arts action. And now, we begin with three rounds of five minutes in a one strawweight mixed martial arts contest. This match is presented to you by Petron. Chill mode on the road with Petron Sprint 40. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is a One Warrior Series contract winner, standing at 162 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of 11 wins and 3 losses. Training out of Team Lakai, representing the Philippines, please welcome Lito Thunder Kid. And introducing his opponent out of the red corner, he is a Japanese mixed martial arts champion, standing at 170 centimeters tall, training out of Team Alpha Male, representing Japan. Introducing Namiki Kawahara. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Olivier Cost. Hi guys, watch out for headbutt, low blow, back of the head and spine. I want to clear fair fight, touch glove if you want. An intense stare down there for Kawahara and Aduwang. Chances are it will not go the distance inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium. A limited live crowd on hand for this one. You could hear them cheering for Lito Aduwang in the background. Judge. Judge, judge time. Ready? Ready? Two! Adewang has eight first round finishes, three by sub, five by knockout. Kawahara has stopped his opponent in the first two rounds in six of his seven wins. Neither man used to going to deep water. Very wide stance here on Kawahara. Let's see if Adewang can flurry early. Small but excited crowd as one championship kicks off the 2021 calendar with a stacked card. Leg kick from Kawahara, counter overhand right fell short from Lito Adewa. 
Adiwan's gonna try to bait Kawahara to come forward and get caught with some of these punches. I like how he's utilizing the leg kicks early because he also knows that Kawahara has really good movement. Leto Adewang in the traditional Team Lokai red trunks. Also has become tradition, the Team Lokai mullet. Leg kicks again from Leto Adewang. The Thunder Kid raining down a storm so far on the legs of Kawahara. That very wide stance may be affecting the ability of Kawahara to check those leg kicks. Moves in for a takedown to no avail though. Right hand lead, stiff jab there from the Thunder Kid. Kawahara did get deep into that takedown, but beautiful defense by Adiwan to stop him right in his tracks. Kawahara the more flat footed of the two, assuming that karate stance. Switching stance to Southpaw, now back to Orthodox Kawahara. Adawang setting himself. Left hook to overhand right, loaded up the overhand right, but telegraphed it. Drift back to center circle. Nice outside thigh kick to the back leg there from Kawahara. The Thunder Kid clips him over the top. Overhand right coming very close for Leto. Kawahara showed his cards then with the right hand. Outside leg kick from the Japanese warrior. Both these guys are winging the hooks at each other. They are letting those hands fly. Absolutely no filling out process in the opening round. Both men guaranteeing a knockout. Hands low on both. Adamang's got the right cocked and ready. Adamang has had success so far going to the legs of Kawahara. There's a kick to the ribs from the Thunder Kid. Kawahara now up on the balls of his feet, bouncing in and out, trying to find range. Adawang still targeting the legs of Kawahara. What's the game plan there for the Thunder Kid Dragon? And he, he, he knows exactly what Kawahara wants to do. He wants to come in and come out. He wants to bob in like a fencer and then get back out. If Adiwan can just start beating up those legs, it's really going to limit that movement and it's going to slow Kawahara down and he's going to be more stationary to get caught with some of these punches. An overwhelming 83% of fans on the one super app Chipping a win for Lito Adewang tonight. Adewang went for the outside lead thigh of Kawahara. Kawahara tries to clip him with that looping right. No success so far with the hands of Kawahara. Adewang thought about the front kick off the rear leg. A very calculated approach by Adewang tonight so far. It was almost a, a hammer fist strike there off the left hand from Kawahara. A little unorthodox. Looping left hand from Adewak. Good snappy jab and out of range immediately, Kawahara, avoiding the counter strike. Adewak has that beautiful ability to combine One power with his speed and round. precision. Yeah, his speed almost creates that power, especially when he gets you hurt. He jumps all over you. You can see what these guys are trying to do. They're trying to pull each one of them, their opponents, into their punches. They're trying to move back and then counter with a beautiful cross. Good outside leg kick there. Just connecting with the bottom part of the shin was Kawahara. Other one goes to the ribs. 3-2 combination. Another rib kick there from the Thunder Kid. 30 seconds left in the first round. Good superior striking there from Lito Adewak. The biggest difference is these kicks coming from Adiwan. They are scoring in rapid succession, especially when Kawahara switches to southpaw. You can see Adiwan starts teeing off on that roundhouse kick. Jab too, but the distance isn't there for Kawahara. Tries a jump turning back kick. Uchido Geri doesn't work for him. Good right hand lead there from Kawahara, trying to mix it up. Overhand right from Anuang for the headache maker. Into the first round, we go to the towels. Folks, give us a follow across all your social media platforms at One Championship on Facebook and Twitter. Dragon, your thoughts after one. Yeah, I like what the work that Adiwan did early in that round with those leg kicks and the body kicks as the round progressed. He was scoring very heavily. And he also slowed down that movement as the round wore on. 
Kawahara seemed to slow down a little bit. He wasn't fully committing to those shots. He attempted a takedown early in that first. But Rich Franklin, how'd you break down the first five? Yeah, I, I'll tell you, he, I gave uh, Lito, I scored him on that takedown defense there, but it was all about the striking in this round. And I've edged Lito out on this one. And I'll tell you what was the difference maker for me with just a little over two minutes it left in that round. Uh, Lito landed a nice kick right hand combination that kind of threw Kawahara back a little bit. But otherwise, this is a pretty even chess match. I still have Lito inching it out after five minutes of action. Right, ready? ready? Right to have the ice. Rich Franklin with us here in the Singapore Indoor Stadium tonight for one championship unbreakable. And as you saw after the first five minutes, the striking superiority in particular leaning the way of the Thunder Kid from the Philippines, Lito Adewak. Skip up inside thigh kick, high to that femoral profunda there from Kawahara. Trying to throw a cannonball off that right hand did Adewak. A little more coming forward already in this round from Kawahara. Adewak circling into the right hand. The preferred hand of Kawahara, though he does switch stance a lot, as you are seeing. Good cracking rib kick. He's landed that a few times in the match so far, Adewang. That's the power kick off the back leg. The torque of the hips, the pivots on the balls of the lead foot, enabling that beautiful Mawashi Getty roundhouse kick. Adewang leads in, swings the left hook. Kawahara, very straight up stance, hands are low. Good. Thinks he's a little quicker than Adewan. Okay. Believes he can time it if Adewan comes looping with the left or the overhand right, that he's got the quickness to evade it and get out of dodge. He's having a hard time with the distance of Adewan, though. If he closes the distance, he gets met with a flurry of punches. But if he stays at this kicking range, Adewan's just a little bit faster with these kicks, and he's scoring with the legs. Kawahara wears that leg kick to the back of the calf. Nicely placed from Adewang. Kawahara needs to start committing to some techniques here. And you see Adewang just playing mind games. You mentioned the wide stance in the beginning of the first round, and it's kind of lending to the ability for Adewang to land these leg kicks. A, a wide stance is not conducive to checking low kicks. It's hard to get that leg up and at least reduce some of the pressure that he's feeling from these yeah. leg kicks. He's got to start oh, back The pocket of Adiwani gets put down. What a beautiful left hand. Rich Frank, I can see the, the excitement in your eyes. You're dying to say something. I'm trying to be unbiased here because I have both athletes in the ring, but it's difficult to be unbiased when Lito is the one that came from Can I just say, folks, Ross, right now, right? Rich Franklin has tears of joy in his eyes at this. Lito Adiwani from the heartbreak at the end of 2020 to come back in the winner's circle tonight with a highlight reel one-punch knockout of Kawahara. That was startling. That is why they call him the Thunder Kid. Oh, that was beautiful. Man, he packed some thunder in that left hook. What a thing of beauty. This match was presented to you by Petron. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee has called a stop to this contest for your winner by way of knockout, Ito Adewa. 83% of fans worldwide and the one super app were correct. Lito Adewang with a second round knockout of Namiki Kawahara. Kawahara, who won the deep title in August of last year, was absolutely shellacked by a perfectly placed left hand on the button. There's a few places where they say the button exists. There's one of them on the mandible, on the jaw. Fantastic performance. And now the dragon is with the Thunder Kid.
Lito, I know you had a rough 2020, but what a way to get started in 2021, Matt. Lito, Woo! how are you feeling? <laughs> Man, so God be the glory. Man, it's, it's been tough for me. I'm, I'm very emotion, emotional uh, coming to this fight. I know I got a lot of uh, challenges leading to this fight, but man, to God be the glory. I tested myself here. I, honestly, this is the toughest fight camp that I, I faced. I didn't prepare well, but to God be the glory, I got a win. Yeah, Lito, I know in 2020 you lost your mother and then you had that rough match to end 2020, but to bounce back like you did was truly impressive. Do you have a message for anybody back home? Man, uh, just, I just got a message to my family back home. Oh, we've been through a lot. And to my family, I love you so much. This is for you. This is to you, Mama. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Thunder Kid, Lito Adiwan. Lito Adiwan, his teammate Joshua Pascio is the strawweight world champion. And now Lito is knocking on the door of the top five, where Alex Silva sits in fifth.